What's our topic? Oh, that was not a good clap. Sarah, we're about to record! <laughs> Sarah, turn off the blender! What are we, what is our topic? Um, I think that our topic... When you travel. When you travel. When you travel. travel. That's what I want to talk about. Okay. All right. What are you, you ready? What are your routines? Ready, right. bud? Here we go. All right. Go. All right. Clap it down again. Oh, I got it. Clap it down. We got to clap it down. Again. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Two Guys with Raging Goals. I'm Mikey and this is Adam and every Wednesday we bring you a conversation where one of us brings a... There's no table. There's no table. There is no table to bring a topic to. <laughs> oh, this is going to throw oh, off my God. This is going to be throw oh. Well, every Wednesday we bring you a topic where one of us wants to talk about something. Something. Jesus Christ. We, brought, we can't no figure table. that out. Yeah. There's no table. This is terrible. I quit. I've got, a, I've got a limited supply of bourbon. I have to, guys, rem remind me as we're going through this to sip slowly. I don't think either. they're gonna. <laughs> this is in the future. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we bring you a topic every Wednesday that we, one of us brings to an imaginary table an imaginary for us to discuss for your enjoyment. Absolutely. If you like that, Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Two Guys with Raging Goals. You can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Raging. And now you can follow us at our website, twoguysraging.com. Yes. Hopefully, this video is the first one to bring us in with uh, our new music. It might not even be the first one. No, no. We, we might have. We, 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 that new music that you guys have been hearing in the last few episodes. <laughs> <laughs> killing it. Uh, that's some good shit, don't you think? Hey guys, as you're going through this, and you're reminding me to sip slowly, tell us how you like music. <laughs> Adam, you told, you told me you had a rant about uh, cheese. Do you remember that rant? I do okay. remember that rant. Okay. Let me, hold on, let me set down my bourbon. What were you going to talk about with cheese? Okay. You lactose intolerant son of a bitch. So I was, I was at Hall's. Yeah. One of my one of my favorite oh, I restaurants. Love Halls. Yes, one of my favorite restaurants in Fort Wayne is at Halls, and that actually has nothing to do with my cheese ring. Wait, should we tell them we're not in studio? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they should have figured that out by now. But you guys, we're recording live in Fort Wayne. If you remember from uh, I don't know four episodes ago, something like that, um, when we told you we were doing our um, podcast vacation, we're yep. on our retreat here. Yeah. Half of it was done in Fort Wayne, which is where our studio is. Um, we have a bar there. We have all the amenities that we need to do podcasting. Yes. Um, we're recording right now in Toledo, so we're um, not in studio. We're in our makeshift studio, if you will. Budget white trash <laughs> studio. We're bought on a budget <laughs> this over <is> here. <laughs> so uh, um, it, it'll look different. It'll sound different. Um, luckily, we have some the foliage. Room. Are you? <laughs> these are my paintings. I don't you? I don't don't you an asshole. That's a tree, fuck. I love trees. That's why I said we're, we're coming to you straight from the reading room, um, which Jeez. was made famous. A few I don't years even want to podcast with you anymore. Damn. You're pissing me off. You're in a you're in a piss poor mood. You're not used to me making fun of you, and you're not used to me making fun of your artwork. Okay, I'm not used to you making fun of my artwork. You making fun of me is very, very... Yeah, like, that's true. That was, like, that's like five true. minutes ago I was getting that. You called me the Doughboy. <laughs> I've been calling you the Doughboy all day. The, the white flower <laughs> Doughboy. No, let me tell you guys a little something. I have to edit the video every week. Not anymore. Well, you still no, have to because we can't send it to <laughs> yeah, me. No. Oh, my God. Windows Movie Maker ain't doing shit. Oh, that shit's terrible. Oh my god. But what I, that was the I least was, intuitive shit on earth. It was I, like going back into the Stone Age. I tried to tell you. I that tried to warn terrible. you. Was, I mean, and sometimes, yeah. sometimes I just gotta let Mikey do what he's oh, gotta do to learn his own lessons. It's like having a child. No, but even you a said, small animal. like, you thought it was bad. You didn't remember it being as bad as it is. No. <laughs> uh, because I, I haven't used it in nine years yeah. or whatever, you know, so. No, that was bad. Anyways, Adam has Mac. I have PC. We shoot all of our stuff, or we record all of our stuff, or edit it 
on a Mac, and so we were trying to figure out, can we do it on either or, that way Adam's not having to do all the editing. Yeah. Um, as it turns out, no, we cannot. No. Until we get the same software, because right. the software for the Windows computers are terrible. It's so, terrible. Yeah. Their onboard is awful. Yeah, no, it's terrible. But anyway, I was talking about <laughs> the video. I I do a li I do minor adjustments to the lighting. Oh God. Post work. This fucker. And what I said was not that you were a doughboy like you're fat. I said that you're so white you look like white flower dough with arms and a mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, that made it better. That's better. Uh, yeah. When Adam comes up missing, you'll all know what happened. Um, I'm in the reading room. Yeah, yeah, you're dead in the reading room. It's like a I'm tall tale. I'm gonna hide you in G1, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an island target nobody ever zones. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep, that's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I've, cheese so, ranch. so, so I've got, so I've got a little, I've got a little thing about cheese, and it started while I was at Halls the other day, and um, I was there with uh, Nicholas. You'll remember him from a few episodes ago, and his friend Karina. We should get Karina on here. Karina? Karina? I refuse to believe that's her name. Karina? <laughs> it's Karina. She's Mexican, and her name is Karina. I don't know what the two ha one has to do with the other, but her name is Karina, it seems like. <laughs> it's whatever the fuck you're doing with that eye. Okay, that's what Karina. a white person would do. You know. <laughs> um, it's, it's the same reason why they name... Uh, same reason why they name white girls Tanya. I don't... Because it's gross. Okay, but what's the... What would the ethnic version of Tanya be? Oh, no, just a white person. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, there's, no, there's no ethnic oh, version okay. of it. It's just okay. a white person thing. Okay, that's good. So, um... <laughs> not to ostracize everyone. I was confused. So... Thought I was learning something. But no, you did. Yeah. Drop a knowledge bomb. Don't don't trust the Tanya. Pro tip. Pro tip. Now, this is what I have to say. This is what I have to say. What's up? I was there with Nick and Karina, and they were talking about their new job at Tim Hortons. They're both at Tim's? Yeah. They both went to Tim Hortons. All right. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do yeah, that. No, it sounds like it. It looked like it didn't mean to do that. I just think it's interesting that they both left and then both got jobs at another. Like, yeah. you left Target. Well, but Tim Hortons. I didn't go to work at Starbucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Tim Hortons was hiring because they were opening two new stores right, right, right. Okay. in the near future. Okay. So they were like, hey, I hear they're hiring. So they both went and they got gotcha. jobs at so anyway, shopping up them Timbits. They were talking about making a sandwich. They were like, "Oh, I really like to make this sandwich, but I only like to make it when I can make it because you can substitute the American cheese for the far superior cheddar cheese." No? White American cheese? No, 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 no. Or like Kraft Singles American Cheese. Is that what they're... Like, because there's a difference. There is a difference. I'm going to assume that what they mean is like a yellow okay. American okay. cheese. Yeah. Okay, then cheddar is far superior. There's, there's a goddamn problem in the world that Americans are known for the fucking nastiest, uh, okay, yeah. bullshit-ass yeah. cheese of all time. Well, everything we make is fucking processed. Um, it's terrible. American cheese, fucking disgusting. Velveeta, fucking disgusting. I don't fuck what you're serving at your Super Bowl parties. Everybody's drunk anyway. They're going to eat Velveeta. Yeah. But it's fucking sick. No, it really is. It is a sick, sponge-like, wet cheese. That is shelf stable. There's no fucking reason for that shit. But white American cheese? Oh. White American cheese? Ugh. You melt that stuff yes. on something? Oh. Now, I that's agree. the best shit ever. And that's what they make queso dip out of. Yeah. It's white American. Yeah. Um, so, so yes, but when, like, there are two different types of American cheese. 
There is white American yep. that is amazing. And then there is the, oh, this is American cheese. And it's like this weird yellow fake cheddar. Yeah. That's like just disgusting. Only, only, only kind of melts. Yeah. yeah and then like turns remote, back it's, into a slice. It's like 50% oh, yeah. plastic. And then, yeah. yeah no, oh, that, shit, that shit is just terrible. Yeah. And, I, and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that that's what I've known. Well, for. so America is terrible. With, so this is going to be a longer rant than I meant. To be. It is, um, but I, I, I'm sorry that I opened it up. But we're like, terrible this is what I have this to shit. Say. So I'm shopping today. Yep. Because I'm looking for cherries for our old fashions. I knew you were coming out. Yep. Wanted to make some old fashions, and I didn't have. I think I actually might have some maraschino cherries, but I was like, God, I'm so tired of using them. They're fucking terrible. They're just little sugar bombs that get dropped into your drink, and so 90 percent of the time I don't use them. Because yeah. I don't want that much sugar. And, like, nobody needs that much corn syrup in their fucking life. And so no, I no. was like, it took me forever. I had to go to three different stores to find these cherries that still were served in syrup. But at least they're real cherries. They're, right. They are real black cherries. And then what we did was I made them myself. Poured out all the syrup. <laughs> and replaced it with bourbon. Yep. Yeah. And now they're bourbon soaked cherries, and they're delicious. And and we had we had a small science lesson. Yeah, we had a small science lesson because <laughs> Adam, Adam started the. Okay, so I start by emptying the cherries and all their juice into yeah. a strainer. Empty that. Maybe we should make a video of this sometime. We should. I then was like, okay, I have the empty jar and the strained cherries. I'm gonna fill this jar up with bourbon, and then I'll put the cherries in. <laughs> And Adam was like, wait, wait, what you should do is put the cherries in and then add the bourbon because of the way volume works. <laughs> you're going to be really sorry said, and you're going to waste some bourbon. He said, don't do that. And then you said, why the fuck not? And I said, I don't know, volumetric diffusion I don't fucking know but it's a bad idea and and once again it reminded me of why this is a great partnership because yes sir as we found out today so so uh, for those of you guys who don't know Adam and I have a deep rooted love for Steve Jobs absolutely we both very love very much love Steve Jobs and uh, Steve didn't wasn't the smartest guy in the world as far as technology went he didn't right. know how to do a lot of things yeah but he had a vision he knew what he wanted. And oftentimes, Adam mentioned how he does most of the editing. Oftentimes, that's how this works. So you'll see we have these cool graphics that have come up <laughs> throughout the video. Just so you know, they're probably long gone. Yeah, they, they only they show up, up for about 30 seconds. They were up earlier, but we uh, had these graphics. I'm not right playing now. this shit where, like, I'm waiting for your hand uh, motions. I'm not making time stamps on this um, But every time Adam edits a video, I'm like, okay, that's good. This is how we can make it great. And then I give him little shit to add to it, but I don't even know how to do it. I just know that that would make it good. And Adam's like, okay, well, no, yeah, that's fine. That's, yeah, no, but I fucking throw this out. <laughs> yeah, and I'll no, start on this. Don't worry. Five hours of fucking work <laughs> out the window. Yeah. Perfect. That's a, that's but, I, but, I, but I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. This is, this is why this duo is going to be successful because... I ain't a bitch like Steve Wozniak. I ain't <laughs> even I'm throwing a lot of shade at Wozniak. I don't know. He's <laughs> okay. No, he's a fucking genius. He's full of fucking like ideas, but he doesn't know how to deliver them. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I know how to fucking deliver an idea. It's true. Much like my idea about Velveeta cheese and how it should be fucking massacred. How people should rage the stores and how they should fucking burn it. Alright, so if that happens, we are responsible for that. Like, there's no liable. No. I need you to put in a graphic card here that says not liable. Not liable. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I think... I think about the way we do stuff, and like, I uh, I have this very clear vision of what I want us to accomplish, right? And like, like this morning, I woke up and I had a text message from you, and it was uh, a new logo. Yes. And I was like, that's great. <laughs> Add these six things. Do change this. Change this. Change, change this. Change that. 
<laughs> okay, now add this, and but everything I, I said, you were like, oh, that's smart. Oh, this is, but this, this is, but this is what I like is that like I've got great ideas. No, I got phenomenal ideas. Okay, well, just I and mean, humble. Yeah. Hashtag humble. Fuck humble. <laughs> I've had enough bourbon. I give a fuck. <laughs> I got, I got phenomenal fucking ideas. You do, you do. But there comes a point in my phenomenal ideas where like. I've delivered as much as I can at this moment, so I need to pass it on to somebody else. They can spitball it back to me, and I'll elaborate on like what they're thinking, and then that'll give me more ideas. And as I've said before, my ideas are great. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> I think that the the um, dynamic that we've developed is like I'm I'm a better editor. Yeah. Yes. Um, and than an artist. Yeah, yeah. Like I like you're a better art editor. Yeah, in that sense, yeah, like exactly. there are certain things you don't know about. Yeah. There are things that I see, like I have a good eye for, like, oh, you know what, this will work, like, change these three things. But I could have never made that logo. Yeah. I could have never actually done that work. But I can see it and be like, oh, this is great. Let me give you three things that are going to make this phenomenal. Yeah, and and so that's why this this really works. I was just talking to somebody about this. Um, just not that long ago, and they were like, you know, you're really going all in on this podcast thing. Is your is your partner all in on it? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, and we bring very different things to the show. So yeah, like, yeah. You are very you're very smart with uh, social media. Like mm -hmm. most of our following is on Facebook, and a lot of that is because of you. Yeah. Like, like I don't have a following on Facebook. I have a following on Twitter, but that ain't a fucking thing for us. Nah, yeah. Um, but you know how to sell us on social media. Mm -hmm. And you attract a fan base that I could never do by myself. Yeah. Um, where it, and then on the flip side, like I feel like I have I have like the vision and the grind to get us through. Like, hey, we're doing a vacation, and we're also fucking gonna work every fucking day, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and like, like I feel like a lot of times, like it's you look to me for like, okay, what are we aiming for next, or what are what is. What are the goals for today? What are we going to get done? Yeah, to keep I mean, us look, yeah, no, look at our podcast on a weekly basis. Uh, and I look at you. Marauders map. I look at you for direction anyway, because somebody's got to keep me. I, I'm bumping into the walls too much. <laughs> you got to keep it. Got to keep yeah, focused. Like, yeah, fucking. I'm gonna be a gutter ball here in a minute. We, we, I need people like you in my life. I don't know how we went from cheese to that, but put it up. <laughs> put it up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we need to have like an all-encompassing end of the retreat vlog after the T Dale vlog and everything. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Just to sum things up, because uh, obviously we have a lot to say. So one of the things that I feel like we do a lot is travel. So okay, yeah. So you travel to Perrysburg. I travel to uh, Fort Wayne. Yep. Um. So we travel back and forth, but um. I feel like we, we travel a significant amount. We're planning to go to Anaheim for VidCon. Um, we Hashtag double piece. Road to VidCon. VidCon. <laughs> yes. Um, we went to Kentucky together. Um, we've gone to Chicago together multiple times. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you and Nick went to Florida. Sarah uh, and I went to Pennsylvania. Like, so one of the things that I thought would be interesting for us to talk about is like, what's, what's your routine? Um, because, and I'll share the story of when we went to Chicago eventually, but like, I feel like you and I have similar routines for vacation, but what's that look like for you? Because some people are very, uh, very... Like, Itinerized. Yes, yes, yes. And some people, like, I've packed everything, I've planned everything, and this is the stop we're going to make, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. Like, so, so what's that look like for you? Oh, boy. So, um... I think I think I think the difference between you and I is that I'm much more I much more go with the flow for the most part. Yeah. Um so like you you're go with the flow as in like okay, we're going to leave at 8:30 ish. We're going to stop and get coffee at 8:35 ish. Yeah, I don't and we'll I get know, to where we're going around whenever we get to that. <laughs> you yeah. fucking like, you, you know. But to me, like, I'm like, hey, you know what? Here's the deal. You want to plan the vacation? I'll tip in my share of whatever. 
Ideas, maybe. I've heard I'm great at those. I heard that earlier. <laughs> I've heard that somewhere, maybe on a podcast. So I, so I'll, I'll throw in whatever I, whenever I need to. I'm along for the ride. Right. However, however, we've had these conversations about time wasters. Yes. And at what it's point one of in the most day? Most popular is, episodes ever. <laughs> I can feel it. Um, that, it was until I went on my tirade about Velveeta, and that was people should raid their grocery stores and burn bricks on them. <laughs> build, bricks. build small houses with it and burn it to the ground. A very intense feeling. <laughs> oh, Velveeta's disgusting. Anyway. Don't fuck with me in the last half of my fucking day. So, <laughs> like day to day? Well, day to day and in my vacation. Okay. Because like, that's when I'm just like, God, when's this gonna end? And especially on like, um, well, you kind of lose track. So I, I when, when, when Nick and I went to Florida, what was it, two years ago? Yeah, I think so. It was like, or well, I guess it was like a year and a half ago, because it wasn't last August, but it was the August before. So, when we went to Florida, we drove. Yeah, which doesn't sound fun at all. I, I've, done I, that. I, I've I, actually done that drive, and it was not fun. I did not drive. I didn't drive. And we, we only went to Panama City Beach, which is... Like, the, right there. Like, it's yeah. the most north you can be and be at the ocean. <coughs> um... So it's like a 16 hour drive. Yeah. Um, and I did not drive. I was not interested in driving. <coughs> it was Michael and I think maybe Randy that drove or Michael okay. and Nick. I don't know. And um, at some point in the vacation, there was this girl that was navigating and she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Hopefully she tunes into the podcast. Because <laughs> it's the goddamn truth. She didn't know what the fuck she was doing. She took us down the, all these back roads in Alabama. Oh my god. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'm not scared of much. I live in a, I live in a small time ghetto. Okay? Small time. Did somebody tell you to go the back the way you did? The <laughs> roads of Alabama. Not the fucking place. <laughs> that I want to be fighting myself at, okay? We're low on gas. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> we, ma we, we made it through Birmingham. <laughs> Nick's driving the car. Ran over a turtle. I'm having the fucking worst day of my life. Turtle murderer. <laughs> He's fucking, he is a turtle murderer. And we start calling him Mario Kart. Because <laughs> he hit a turtle. On the road. Little uh, Koopa Killer. Uh, <laughs> Double piece Koopa Killer. Koopa Killer. Tweet it, Nicholas Killer. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Koopa Killer. Oh my god. Worst, worst, worst vacation ever. Like, at that point, I was like, this is gonna be a fucking train wreck. We got to Florida. I saw the ocean for the first time. It was fantastic. There were loose plans. I had to stay the fuck away from people when I wanted to, be with people when I wanted to. Go out to dinner with Nick by ourselves. So it was good. Yeah. It was real good. It was real carefree. Really, whatever, relaxing. But when somebody else was navigating and they were controlling my day and my day was not going as well as it could have been. Yeah. I'll, right. I'll fucking take, I'll take your head. I'll squish it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking. So I, uh, <laughs> I, very similar. I think I'm a little bit more of a domineering sort than you are, like, I like to take control, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so I think about uh, different vacations I've gone on. First of all, vacation for me means food. Um, right. Wherever the fuck we're going, even when we went to fucking Kentucky, I was like, we need to figure out where we're eating. Like, I want the bourbon, but I want the food. Like, <laughs> you gotta cut it with yeah, the food. Yeah, I need the food. <laughs> I want to eat. Yeah. So like, and I love trying different food every Oh, the so, dish on Maine. Yeah. Well, the dish. 
If you ever go to if you ever go to Louisville, Kentucky, go to the Dish on Main. It's so fucking good. delicious. So good. Get the salmon. It was amazing. Oh, get the hot brown. Oh, that was good oh, too. Oh, yeah. My God. Okay. Move, moving on. So I, I'll give an example. I'll tell a little story. Here we go. Going to Chicago. Yeah. I've never had Chicago style pizza in my life. Um. No, wait. I had had it once. Yep. Yes. So the first time that I... Yeah. Okay. So there's a backstory here. First time I went to Chicago, went with the same group of people, essentially. Yep. And wasn't allowed to get Chicago pizza, and I was really upset about it. Yep. And then eventually Rodney and I went on our own. Right. My, my, my friend Rod, we went, got Chicago pizza in a blizzard, and it was the best fucking pizza of my life. We ate the whole damn thing, drank a bunch of beer. It was great. Um, yes. Did it in a blizzard because that's what was up. And uh, two, two boys from Montana just making it happen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, so then you and I got to go to Chicago together in a group setting. And uh, <laughs> God. it was probably the worst vacation of my life. Um, not... Not because of you and I, like that was actually what actually, you and I got along. So it was, it was a great, it was a great vacation, only because coming back from it, we like. I don't think th I don't think that we had any inkling. Like we had had, um, two months before we had met at a birthday party. Yeah, and you stole my hat. And I stole your hat. We were started getting along. We started talking about yeah. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. We we no. were like we were like. Know about yeah. this guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then w this vacation is what launched two guys with raging goals. Two guys with raging goals. I mean, it was five, four years in the making. Yeah. Or whatever. But so, so, so I got the opportunity to go on vacation with you and uh, a group of people. And for me, again, like I said, vacations about food. So we're going to Chicago. We're gonna get. I was like, okay, we gotta get Chicago style pizza. Guys, I've been to Luminati's. Shout out to Luminati's. It's the best. Um, fuck Giordano's. Yes. And all you yeah, hate no, out there. No, every, 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 everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Especially from Fort Wayne. Yeah. Especially everybody from Fort Wayne. Oh, everybody from Fort Wayne. Oh, you gotta get Giordano's. No, okay, no. So. I go, I, no. No, no, no. No. You know what? No. No. I'm done. I'm done. This is what happens. I talk to people. They say, I'm going to Chicago. They say, hey, by the fucking way, Illuminati's, I'm going to, hey, I don't know if you've heard earlier in the podcast, they said that I've got great fucking ideas. So great I tell ideas. people, got an idea for you. Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Nickel for your time, good sir, good ma'am or miss. Illuminati's pizza. I've had it. It's wonderful. It's phenomenal. Better than Giordano's. And people go, <laughs> I've had Giordano's. It's the best. I, you can go get fucked. <laughs> All of you people who say that, who giggle Easy, and say we're, that. We're real close to the camera already. I don't know. <laughs> we're in a smaller room. <laughs> Listen, motherfucker. I'm about to fill this you get bitch up with Velveeta <laughs> cheese. These people are pissing me off. Um, they didn't remind me to sip my bourbon slowly. You finished all. yours before, um, you before I finished mine, and that's... So, yeah, we gotta get Illuminati's, right? And so I, I wanted to clarify, not just Chicago-style pizza, we're getting Illuminati's, because those people who, like, and, and you're right, everybody in Indiana's like, Giordano's, man, that's the way to go. But yeah, there's a reason that Illuminati's wins Chicago's best pizza every fucking year, you guys, because tourists eat Giordano's, the people who live in Chicago actually fucking eat Illuminati's, so there's a reason. Yes. Um, but anyways, we're going to get Illuminati's, and then the goal was to try Chicago Dog. Because right. I never had a Chicago Dog, and never. I was like, going to be in Chicago? We should do that. Yeah. I told you, I told the whole group, and you were the only one who was like, we should do that? That yeah. sounds great. Yeah, that sounds great. Guess what I am? A lover of food. Yeah. And so, and so I get that I'm, first of all, domineering, but also like... That, I, that these are what it, the things I want to do. And so those two put together, that's what I want to do. But 
I also painted in a pretty open light, so hey, we so, got, we're we going got to four days. Yeah, we're going to California. Hey, I want to try this food and this food and this food. These are the three things I want to do. I don't give a fuck what we do outside of that. So we can meander around all fucking the all day, every day, as long as we do those three things. Yeah. That's all I ask. And so I felt that way about Chicago. Yeah. And unfortunately, the group of people that we were with were stupid, semi-brain dead, and they... <laughs> and and they're, no, they're, See, I don't even blame them. I blame myself because I let them take over. And I was yeah. just like, okay, I'm going to be the nice guy. I'll just sit back and be quiet. And I won't say anything. <laughs> then, I'll just and then wait. it festers. Yeah. And it becomes something yeah. untamed. It's, it's, all of a sudden, I become Zeus. And I start chucking fucking lightning bolts at you. Um, we ended up in... And I, we alluded to this story uh, in the very first episode um, of how you and I became yeah. friends. And so Tales of origins. we ended up in a place, in a part of Chicago that I've never been to. Um, <laughs> you got to go outside of where the buildings are, and you, and if you're smart like we were, you'll walk. So you walk the, I don't know, three hour distance that that was in the rain. <laughs> and, and it wasn't even rain, it was like God was spitting on you because he wasn't, it wasn't like, Constant water. No, it was just God. It was just like <laughs> God hates you. You yeah. terrible people. Yeah, <laughs> fucking throwing shit at you whenever <laughs> I feel like it. Oh, you guys still down there? <laughs> and so we ended up in a part of town that we shouldn't have been in. No. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> I've had enough, and I lose it. And I was like, Do you hear the fucking thunder? Because I'm Zeus and I'm calling it down. We gotta get out of here right now, and I know all of you don't make any real money, but I do, so we're calling a cab, and I'm getting in it, and if you want to come, you can, and if you don't, you can stay here. And you and I got in a cab. Yep. And left. <laughs> yep. And went to a liquor store, which is the, like, second priority for vacation. For yep. Me. Food, and then liquor. And at the time... I'm, I don't even know Adam that well, but I know that Adam is not 21. Because I'm only like 23, 24 yeah. at the time. And you're not 21 at the time. And before we even came, I was like, did anybody bring beer or should we bring something to the hotel? Because Adam's not going to be able to drink there with us. Or go if we all go out, Adam's not going to be able to drink there, so we right. can drink first. Everybody's like, nah, fuck him. And I was like... I don't know the guy. All right, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, fuck this dude. So then we get there, and <laughs> you and I actually had an interesting experience, which is probably phase three of if you're traveling together, routines that you should set up. Everybody should have each other's numbers. Because you and I... We did not. Yeah, we, we went. We went, to, we went to a, what was it, Jewel Osco. Yeah. And we went in. Mike went to go get alcohol. I went to go get solo cups and ice. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was it was a split level, so like the alcohol yeah, was the top. Yep. And you're down below. And I'm down below. Yeah. I go through the checkout. I saw Mikey, went through the checkout, and then I don't know what happened. <laughs> and we don't have any, we don't have each other's number. I'm like Macaulay Culkin and all along. <laughs> so all of a sudden it occurs to both like uh, both of us, I assume at similar times, that like how am I going to find this guy? Yeah. Like, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I've got alcohol in a backpack. <laughs> I assume he has ice and cups. we got to put these together to make something happen. Fuck. Uh, Fortunately, we got water. Yes. So, top tip. Yes. Share your numbers. Share your numbers. With yeah. People. Know who you're with and or what have you're a doing. smartphone and Facebook and yeah, all the yeah. things we didn't have. Yeah, that, that shit didn't exist. Yeah, that wasn't like a real um, mainstream thing. But that was the thing. Like that vacation was horrible because people dominated the vacation who didn't have real priorities for when they go on vacation or when they're traveling. Like when you travel, you should. Always be, in my opinion, you should always have some food because people get hangry 
And yeah. so, especially if you're traveling in a city, like, where you're walking a lot and stuff, like, people need to eat, like, and you got to do stuff in piecemeal. Like, you can't walk for three hours and then wonder why, like, oh, everybody's so down and exhausted. Nobody wants right. to go to the yeah. stationery yeah, store like, and see the like, bug and look at cars. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of which, quick story. We went to that stationery store. This was after the after the fucking tirade, and we fucking got yeah. to one stationery store. And it was somebody who worked there's birthday. Do you remember this? And she gave me one. Yes. So they had cake. <laughs> And they're handing out cake, and Adam and I are both starving. And I was like, I will eat all the cake. I hate cake. Yeah. Coming to you in a future episode. Um, the Caker Pie Cast. I hate cake, but I ate the fuck out of that. And then they were like, and we have champagne! Didn't card this mother... And, and so Adam's holding it, and he's like, I, what should I do? And I was like, drink it, because they gave it to you. And if they card you after the fact, they're liable. <laughs> what are they going to do? Give us back the alcohol, little boy! <laughs> but, but you should have these sorts of priorities. Like, you should know. Yes. Like, so a lot of people, when they go on vacation, it's sightseeing, right? We're going to see the sights. Yep. You can't do five hours of it and not eat. You can't do, you know, five hours of some activity and not, like somehow have, like, a rejuvenation plan right, in right. place where, yeah. like, people are going to stay engaged. And it's just like anything. If you're running a business meeting, you can't do two hours of a meeting without a break in the middle. Like, yeah. there's got to be little morsels that people can chew on. And that was, that was the biggest problem with that vacation was, like, it, when I'm running the vacation, when I'm in charge, yep. I planned it out, like, okay, like, when we went to Kentucky. Yep. Sarah and I, originally, when we planned the map, we wanted to go to a bunch of different distilleries. But it occurred to us that, like, well, shit, we're going to be in the... To get from this distillery to this distillery, and our hotel's over here, to do all of that in one day, like, we're going to have to fucking be driving for, like, two hours at a time. So you're in the car for two hours, and you go to this distillery, and then you're in, like, in order to make the next one, we'd have to leave right away, and so you're in the car for another hour. Yeah, and, and you gotta wake up early, yeah, and yeah, you gotta and go like, to bed late, like, and you gotta... You're, you're on vacation, like, at this point, you're, like, nobody's gonna be happy, nobody's yeah. gonna be enjoying their time. I mean, like, like honestly, like, um, so, so let's, let's bring it back around. The fucking retreat that we're on right now. Yeah. I'm on ten days of vacation between jobs. Yeah. <laughs> between jobs. And I and but it's everything I could could have asked for. Yeah. Right? Like it's a good time with my friends, it's alcohol, it's food, podcasting. Yeah. I we just looked at our to-do list. So like uh two months ago or so, Adam and I put together a to-do list of like, these are the things that we want to accomplish. Yeah. During our retreat. And at the time, it felt really grandiose. <laughs> yeah, we were like, uh, oh, well, if we get, yeah, oh, if we get around to that. And, that. and now, like, we were just talking about this. Like, it feels like, oh, we're not aiming high enough. We could be doing more. Yeah. Um, we've almost got everything knocked out on that list. Almost everything. And we've enjoyed it. Because, and that's the thing. Like, you've got to build that time in when you're on vacation, when you're, when you're traveling, like, when you're doing those things, like, People want to bookend everything from, like, start to finish. And then they get done with their vacation, and they're like, oh, it was terrible. I'm so tired. And yeah, I, I'm more I tired now lie. than when I yeah. left work. And it's like, you, what? Did, you did that to your fucking self. Yeah, you fucked up your vacation. You probably ate too much fucking Velveeta. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, my favorite thing is, like, at the end of the night, the other day, the other day, we came back from dinner. And I was like, dude, are we going to, like, podcast or something? And you were like, yeah, sure, why not? And, like, it just felt so, like, cool. Like, the yeah, it's just, just an easy flow. Do that. Yeah. And, like, yeah, exactly. You don't feel, whatever. like, yeah, like, pushed. Yes, it's, it's stressful to come up with ideas and talk in front of a camera for 45 minutes. And, like, before we started this, we were like, are we going to have enough to talk about? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, long-winded. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, but, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, like I this vacation has felt very relaxing. I spent a couple of days in Fort Wayne with you, and like I never felt like pushed to like, oh, we got this agenda and we got to get through it all. We've got this agenda. We have a deadline to meet, and we both know that, and we're putting in the work. But like even today, you got here. We sat down. We started editing video. We started. I started blogging. But in the same time, we're we're drinking iced coffee. We're listening to uh, new podcasts yeah, that are up, and we're bullshitting about yeah, other we're, stuff, and, we're, and we're planning out like next steps and stuff. Yeah. And then, and we're like, okay, and we're gonna take a break here and go to dinner, and then when we come back, we can podcast, and then we'll, after we podcast, we can just kind of relax the rest of the day because we'll have this and this and this done. And so, like, while I am a t- I am Captain Wing It, hashtag Wing It, double piece Wing like. You gotta have some sort of loose structure in there in order to enjoy it because you you will go on vacation with people who are like, well, you gotta do this and then we gotta do this and then we gotta do this and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this and it's like, I don't like people underestimate their time. Yeah, and that's the biggest problem is like people will be like, oh, well, that'll only take like until noon and then you'll have the rest of the day to relax and it's like okay but what you just named off in my mind is going to take till like four o'clock and i'm good with my time <laughs> yeah like so I'm, and and by then i'm gonna be hungry yeah and you get tales of time wasters <laughs> check the back a lot yeah we're good with our fucking time yeah no, yeah, like, I, I manage my time very well, yeah. so, like, you fucking crazy, you think we're gonna get all this <laughs> shit done. And then, and, like, people do that, and they're just like, but we're on vacation, so who cares that it took till 3 o'clock? And I'm like, well, I do, because I actually want to enjoy this vacation. And so, like, I believe in working on my vacations. I fucking put in the work on my vacation. But I also want to enjoy it, and so I plan for that. I yeah. plan to enjoy my vacation. Yeah. And so, like, it, it's the same with anything. Like, if you don't have a goal that you're shooting for, if you don't have a vision, you are fucking wandering in nothingness. Yeah. And and so it drives me insane when, like, hey, okay, planning this vacation. What do you guys want to do? And they're like, oh, I don't know. We'll just get there. And I'm like, okay. And I, what I really want to do is I want to do these three shops. And I'm like, okay, what are we going to eat that day? And they're like, oh, I don't know. I just figured we'd eat something. And I'm like, you have to eat. Like, and I know that I'm a fat kid saying that, but I'm like, you are going to be so angry <laughs> by the time you get done with that. You're going to be like, oh. So hangry. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to be around any of these people. Yeah. And like people don't plan for the necessities of a vacation. And if you just took some time. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 can, you can plan shit like that. Bull, you can plan bullshit ass trips like that if you're going by yourself. Yeah. You go right ahead. Well, I'm, Sarah, I, I'm not going with you. Sarah and I, we always go to, we go to Chicago every year. We're going in May. Yeah. We go to Chicago every year. And we normally hit the um, tiny target. Yep. We hit, uh, it's not called, what, what, what are they calling them? City targets? They don't call them that anymore. But we, we always hit that target. We always hit a couple of different stores. And like we always hit certain restaurants. But we plan accordingly. It isn't like we try to cram all this shit in. And then we're like, I wish, I will eat your hand if you <laughs> fucking wave it in front of my face. But, like, just simple stuff like that. Or, like, we plan, like, okay, from 12 to 3, we got nothing going on, so we can go back to the hotel and take a nap. We get, Or just lay there. Or whatever, you know, like... Hang out, watch like, TV. Yeah, but, like, if you don't build in that sustainable stuff, and you don't think for that sort of thing, I think people... That's how people come back from vacation, hating their lives. Yeah. And then they kill their kids. Because they're like, fuck all of this shit! And these kids that keep <laughs> screaming at me, I can't take it anymore! And those who don't kill their kids, feed them Velveeta. Yep. <laughs> True story. Alright, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Two Guys with Breaking Goals, you guys. Um, share with us, what, what are your vacation uh, goals? What do you guys like to do on vacation? You know, Do you plan for a certain meal? Do you, do you check out the local scenery? What's, what's that look like? Share with us some terrible experiences that you've had, because God knows that's what forged this and this <laughs> yes. goddamn podcast. So thank you so much, you guys. Go to the new website. Check out twoguysraging.com. Oh, oh, that's going to throw a new one in there. <laughs> Screwed me up just when, I got the, just when I got it all down. Yeah. Um, like us. 
Share with your friends, you guys. I can't stress enough. That's the most important thing. Share it with your friends. That's how we continue to grow the business and bring you the content that you guys want to see. Um, look forward to April 4th where we are bringing you the brand new Footsteps Footnotes. God damn it. Damn it. Shut the fuck up. I it's, fucked it up in the video, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Footnotes to Building the Empire. It's a monthly, just a monthly uh, Star Wars podcast. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. Uh, and thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Thank you for supporting two guys with rating goals. Um, we love bringing you the content, so keep giving us the feedback, and we'll keep bringing you stuff. Thanks, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Boom. Boom. Valvita cast. <laughs>